I have proof that we got issues with our room per usual. So we got our keys. This is the door that they fixed yesterday. And I was keeping up there twice to give them a repeat. This is twice. Oh, yeah, they left this here. Thinking that we did this. And it doesn't work. So our door doesn't even work. So that means nobody can leave the room and then, you know. Look, look at the, look at the handle. Look at how that turns. So, yeah. So. <laughs> Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to Through a Different Lens. I'm going to show you guys the room today. Um, so this is what it looks like today. Of course, we've been in here all day. It's like 4 o'clock, so. But. Just got to take our trash out. We've been here all day eating and stuff so that's what that is okay so a quick update from yesterday's video i'm not gonna rant on and on so um so yesterday i received this paper i talked about this in my rant yesterday um so i wasn't you know i was very emotional yesterday very upset when i received this so i probably didn't make any sense in that video um but so we received this as um it's a notice of immediate cleanup 24 hours so you have 24 hours to clean up your room the next day they inspect it and they could decide based on the inspection whether to kick you out or let you stay okay so the problem with this is we usually generally get these letters as retaliation for whatever reason um we reported this company to corporate and corporate did warn us that you know while you guys are still there they are going to try to intimidate and they're going to try to um get up under your skin and things like that. They're going to try to get you out. So we know that. And the reason why we haven't left is because it's very expensive. Like today, um, we had our boiling point. And we're like, okay, cool. Today's the day that we're finally going to decide not to pay another week here. We got to go. Then we go and call all these hotels and everywhere around uh, where we live, around where my mom works. So it's not a big commute for her. Um, and so most of them are... 400 to 600 dollars for a week stay and that is just a, more money than we have currently and so um we are currently at the point where we're stuck here but we do have a plan we also called several apartment complex today and we're hoping that you know we're going to throw some money to several apartment complexes when we get paid this week and we're just hoping that somebody says yes so we can finally get out of here so that's the plan we're going to give this hotel here two more weeks. Um, while those two weeks are going on, we're going to be aggressively applying to all the apartment complexes that they could possibly work with credit challenges. We're going to try them and see what happens. So anyways, this letter here, they usually give this if you have excessive clutter. And I just showed you guys the room. Um, and that was the room kind of yesterday too. Of course, the only difference was you might have had a couple of toys thrown around. Um, and things like that and you might have had some stuff that was just you know like on top of like tabletops and stuff um, but usually we don't have a lot on the floor um, no outside furniture which we don't have no pets we have no pets um, damaging items kept in the room we don't have that we don't have items in the windowsill items on the breezeway so that's like no bikes and stuff outside um, then when they said um, nothing near the room where it can be stored as a fire ha uh, hazard wow unsanitary conditions so excessive items on the floor floors not being cl um, clean or kept properly trash and I empty daily but not limited to this list <coughs> excuse me so of course we have our trash over here but it's four o'clock we took out our morning trash already and uh, that's like irrelevant smoking and none smoking room none of us smoke unclean kitchen you just saw the kitchen we just ate so of course we still have our dishes out and stuff like that but um, so they usually say all of that, right, on the letter. And, um, so you have to clean your room, get the inspection. So we always get these letters, but you know what never, never, never happens? We never get the inspection the next day. They give us these threatening letters. They do this to rile us up for some reason. And we're like, what is the problem now? Why do you need to come inspect the room? What led to this decision, right? So yesterday, um, after maintenance, housekeeping, I did not want to let pest control in. I was over it. Um, I was having a, a bad day. I didn't trust pest control and pest control came by himself without anybody else um, And for my safety, I didn't let pest control in. I told him come back another time and um, 
I guess he went back and told the front office that their room was uh, smelling bad and that it was unsanitary conditions in the room, and that's why I didn't let him in. So I guess that's what led to this letter. We found that out today. So anyway, I don't want to make this video excessively long. So we talked to a lawyer today, and we found out um, basically we have no legal rights. We have to pretty much put up with this treatment to have a place to stay. And that um, there's nothing that we could do about it. Um, even my mom went down to the manager today. And she told my mom, this is not an apartment. This is a hotel. So you shouldn't be requiring certain things. And um, it's crazy because you're not requiring like a door be locked. It's like a big requirement. Requiring that, you know, we get batteries in the AC or that we get a working fridge. It's requiring too much. So, um, that's been the day of realizing that we have no legal rights when you live in an extended stay, when you live in a hotel. You do not have tenant rights like they told you. Um, you can be evicted. That's just the way that it is. Um, now this is here in Georgia. I want to say there's no legal protections for people in hotels here in Georgia. Um, I don't know about other states, but here in Georgia, it's like they will put you through hell and back and there's nothing that you can do about it. And so when we talked to the lawyer about all the issues that we had with the harassment and stuff like that. So um, in her opinion, she felt like it was us, you know, kind of um, doing things and not letting people in the room and stuff and not abiding by a contract. Mind you, we have no contract with nobody. New management came in and they have just been a mess since they got here. Um, we're not the only ones with these complaints. You can go look at Studio 6 Northlake. And you can see the one-star reviews and see things exactly as I'm saying them. So, um, so we pretty much have no legal nothing. So, like I said, I'm going to give this room two more weeks of my time. And we're going to have to try to put some money together so we can get um, another hotel. And hopefully we'll get approved to one of these apartment communities that said they work with credit challenges. That's all that I can really hope for right now because we're in a position where... Uh, we're either stuck here putting up with this or you're going to be dishing out way more money than you have and then You'll be dishing out way more money that you ha that, uh, that you don't really have and you're going to be in the worst financial fix You've ever been in your life. So it's like you really have to think critically when it comes to these issues You can't think based on like all your anger and emotions and stuff like that so there was that today so it's just um I knew we had no legal protections. I, I knew this, but to actually hear it from a lawyer, like we talked with her for 20 minutes, explain her all the things that we went through, and pretty much just like sucks for you, but they're in their legal rights to do whatever they want to do. And so with this letter here, uh, if Rome is not cleaned up proper by this date, you must check out with no refund and no deposit return. And so that was my biggest thing too. I'm like, man, at any notice, this hotel can kick us out. They won't return us any of our money, and we will have to go, and we have no legal rights whatsoever. So, um, I just wanted to put this video out there because I thought that was very interesting what I learned today, that we have no legal rights here in Georgia when it comes to hotels and extended stays. We're not tenants. We're just merely guests, <laughs> and that's it. You're not in a tenant-landlord situation anything like that they're working on trying to get that but right now you're not you're not a tenant so if anybody tells you that um and you're supposed to be like after 90 days you're supposed to be considered a tenant with hotels um but that's not the case and um and they don't want to be referred to as such you're just this is not a tenant landlord this is a guest situation and you have no protection you can be kicked out at any notice and they don't have to provide any notice or anything like that they don't have to give you back your money none of that so now learning that i know where i have to go with this situation i'll just uh, make sure to record my transactions from here on out and um not going to put up with it you know i'm going to give them two more weeks um get our lives together and we're going to probably be leaving this room soon because i'm not going to keep putting up with this and paying nearly 400 dollars a week to, you know put up with madness and then saying I have to put up with it because you're merely a guest and you're not a tenant so that was something interesting I found out today um hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video um don't forget to like comment and subscribe I'll see you guys in another video bye